Hello family, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all doing great. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make soft and fluffy cinnamon rolls. Just as the title of the video says, let's get to today's video. It's in the evening, let's go ahead and prepare our dough. So we are going to start the video by making self-rising flour. On my bowl I have 3 cups of all-purpose sweet flour. I'm going to mix to heat 3 tablespoons of baking powder. And then I'm going to transfer it to my mixing bowl or basin. I'm then going to add 2 and a half tablespoons of sugar. I'm also going to add half a tablespoon of salt to balance the sweetness or to taste and then I'm going to give it a quick mix and set it aside. I'm also going to melt a quarter cup of butter or four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to pop it in my microwave for 10 to 15 minutes. I also have half a cup of milk and the milk is warm. I'm going to add my butter to my flour mixture and then I'm going to add my milk I'm also going to add half a cup of water so for the water I'm going to add it bit by bit as I mix with my spoon you can use a spatula to mix or a wooden spoon to mix for this part of the video but for me I just used a spoon real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and knead my dough. So for me, I added a whole half a cup of water. But like I've said, you can just add the water bit by bit to make a soft dough. Uh, since my dough turned out sticky, I'm going to rub some oil on it as shown in the video. And then I'm going to cover my dough really well with a polythene and a lid and leave it overnight so it's the next day in the morning I'm going to start the video again by making our filling I'm going to add half a cup of brown sugar to my bowl or it's just 8 tablespoons of brown sugar and 2 tablespoons of cinnamon powder and then I'm going to give it a good mix and set it aside. I'm now going to go ahead and check on our dough. I'm going to uncover my dough and then I'm going to knead it for a minute as shown in the video and then I'm going to dust my board. So for today since we are going to be spreading our dough wide I'm going to use two boards like you are seeing i'm going to join them real close so if you have a wide working surface you can just use it i'm going to dust my board had my dough and then i'm going to use my rolling pin to spread it into rectangle as shown in the video like you are seeing right now my dough is rectangular when spreading your dough, you have to make sure it's a quarter an inch in thickness. It should not be too thin. After spreading my dough into a good rectangle, I'm going to spread some butter to it. So the butter is a quarter cup or it's just four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to spread it everywhere on my dough as shown in the video and then i'm going to sprinkle my sugar cinnamon mixture as shown in the video and then all i'm going to do is to roll my dough together like i'm doing right now and bring it close together my dough is a little sticky right now that's why i'm still dusting the board so it doesn't stick right now all i'm going to do is to pinch the ends of my dough so that i can secure it as shown in the video i'm 
and then moving on you're going to need a thread for this part of the video yeah so I'm going to first make a mark on my dough so I can divide my dough to four equal parts to the four parts I'm going to divide them into three equal parts so for my dough I'm going to make 12 equal cinnamon rolls and then I'm going to go in with my thread I'm going to put it under my dough like I'm doing right now and then I'm going to just cut it and make my beautiful cinnamon roll as shown in the video I'm going to put my thread under my dough I'm going to crisscross it crisscross it I'm sorry about that and then I'm going to just easily cut my dough or my cinnamon roll as shown in the video so I hope you've seen that part of the video and you're going to need it to cut your cinnamon rolls real quick and like I said my dough for my dough I divided my dough into 12 equal parts or 12 cinnamon rolls leave it to watch me for a bit to see how I did it and I'll be right back My cinnamon rolls are ready I'm going to set them aside moving on I'm going to be preparing my mold so this is a no oven recipe I'm going to use a pan to bake my cinnamon rolls I'm just going to spread some butter to my pan as shown in the video and then all I'm going to do is to add my cinnamon rolls in a row I placed the cinnamon rolls close to each other and my pan was enough for my 12 cinnamon rolls so you have to place them close to each other so you can give them the power to rise so we are moving to our step 3 that is proofing I'm going to cover my cinnamon rolls and leave them for 60 minutes and after one hour as you can see our rolls have risen I'm going to set them aside so again we are moving to step 4 that is baking them I'm going to preheat my heavy pan for 7 minutes and then I'm going to add my mold and cover it well and then I'm going to bake the first side of my cinnamon rolls for 15 minutes and after 15 minutes as you can see I'm checking on them I'm just going to move on and strain the sugar syrup on our cinnamon rolls and then I'm going to flip the other side I'm going to return the melted sugar and I'm going to flip the other side add my cinnamon rolls to my pan and cover well and bake it for another 10 minutes and when baking this on a gas stove or a gas stop you have to make sure that your heat is low if you decide to use a oven, you are going to heat your oven to 150 degrees Fahrenheit and then you are going to bake your cinnamon rolls for 18 to 20 minutes. So we are going to be moving to step 5 and it, the step 5 is not a must, it's optional. The step 5 is frosting our cinnamon rolls. So for me I'm just going to do a simple frosting. I'm going to do a butter yogurt frosting for my cinnamon rolls. I'm going to add to my bowl 150 ml of my yogurt, vanilla yogurt. 
For my butter, I used a quarter cup or four tablespoons of butter. And for me, my butter was margarine all through the video. If you don't have butter, just use margarine. I melted my butter in my microwave for 10 minutes. And then I added my yogurt and my butter together in a bowl and gave it a good mix with my hand mixer. So for that part, you can use a whisk. A whisk I'm sorry to mix well until your butter frosting is a little pale yellow in color yeah and then I'm going to just spread my frosting to my cinnamon rolls and let my cinnamon rolls cool so when spreading your frosting you have to do it when your cinnamon rolls are still hot so the cinnamon rolls can absorb your frosting well so i let my cinnamon rolls completely cool and then i place them in the fridge so that they can set for a few minutes and then as you can see right now that's how my frosting looks my cinnamon rolls have absorbed my frosting really really well and the fridge did a good job on it and that's how they look so if you don't have a fridge you can just let them set so your cinnamon rolls can absorb the frosting I hope you love this simple and easy recipe you don't need an oven for it it's really quick and the cinnamon rolls are really tasty especially the middle part and the frosting that remains behind is so good if you love this video give it a like it means a lot to me share it with your friends in social media thanks for watching see you in my next video bye